Hey guys and gals, it's me Norex and welcome back to Intermediate C++ Programming Tutorial. In this video we'll be talking a little bit about RAII or Resource Acquisition is Initialization. So resource is, well, anything that we use, okay, anything that we new and delete. Acquisition is, well, acquisition, you know, getting something. And initialization is just, well, initialization, so this is basically <laughs> exactly what it says. Might be a bit hard to understand, but don't worry. We're going to make it easy peasy. So resource acquisition is initialization, or IAII is a C++ programming technique. So it's nothing more than a technique of coding, which binds the life cycle of a resource that must be acquired before use, like this, to anything or anything that's supply, uh, is anything that exists in a limited supply, to the lifetime of an object. Okay? So basically what this is saying is that when you create something, when you create a class, all your resources are acquired, and then when you delete that class, when you, in the disk structure, all the resources should be deleted. Basically what it's saying is, uh, where is, where is this guy right here? Alright, so these are our constructors. Uh, acquire, was it like this? I don't know, I'm not sure. It was probably, I don't know. I don't know, new resources, I'm just gonna be lazy and not Google anything. So, new the resources, delete the resources, alright? It's all there is to this. And, as you have already seen in my previous videos, for every single new keyword, there must be a delete keyword. All the damn time. If you don't do that, there will be memory, memory leakage. And don't worry if you see that I'm over emphasizing this key point that for every delete there should be a for every new there should be a delete I'm really not emphasizing dude this is how this is this, I'm really not emphasizing this is how it should be all right this is how it must be all right so let's say instead of this bar right here we have a pointer all right so we have a pointer in pointer bar and we want to create a new kind of a thing so let's say new int which has the value 0 in it. All right? And I'm going to do it with the initializer, remember initializer. And this guy will have the uh, bar dude in itself. So we've already seen that we can new our bullshit. Now, all we need to do to apply RAII is to delete that guy right here. So we delete our bar resource. All right? Whatever resource it might have been, we knew it here, we delete it there. Now, the thing about RAII is that, actually, if you read the thing in the CPP reference, it talks about mutexes and, you know, all that good stuff, but we don't really talk about mutexes just yet. They're uh, kind of a uh, thread thing, you know, think about threads and stuff, but we don't really care about them just yet. They're pretty advanced stuff. So, we don't care about mutexes, but... Doing something good is like this, okay, so um, we lock it, we do whatever we do, and then we unlock it. This is bad design, alright? According to mutex, if f throws an exception, the mutex is never released. Early return, the mutex is never released if we return it. If bad reaches this statement, the mutex is released, okay, so this is bad design. We acquire it, we might do a whole bunch of stuff before we release it. So, this is the equivalent of newing something, this is the equivalent of deleting something. But this is the good way of doing it. Our AI class mutex acquisition is initialization. So, lock guard, mutex of whatever, and when we reach this point, it automatically, when we return or reach this point, it automatically unlocks it as we go. And this is because it's done in a class, alright? So, whenever this class hits its destructor, it automatically releases or unlocks the mutex, all right? or rather deletes the resource that we've acquired. And that's basically all there is to it. So this was a basic idea of what RAII is, and uh, honestly, you should always use RAII. It's a pretty good principle, and um, yeah, pretty damn good. And so this guy right here, this RAII, this this principle that we have been following for a bit, and that you can you know you just got introduced to, is the the reason why C++ doesn't have a garbage collector. 
Okay, so we have uh, you know some languages like C Sharp or Java or uh, heck even some instances of C++ like Unreal C++ or Unreal Engine they have a thing called the garbage collector okay it's basically it's basically a thread that runs in the background it collects all the you know all the resources that are kind of garbage that we don't use or don't have access to so if I do some stupid thing like this in pointer X and I, I, I do like X equals new int one and then I do something like that this guy will be considered garbage and that thread will automatically find this guy and delete it but garbage collector is never a good thing for performance that's why C++ has never had a garbage collector you can write one for it if you want to but I am highly against it we have some beautiful stuff like RAII that actually does it for us so when we have this beautiful design why should we use some garbage garbage collector like this and that's the reason why I love C++ because it's beautiful and because it's fast and there's no reason why we shouldn't use it um, unless maybe the uh, you want money and there's no good uh, <laughs> there's no good uh, what is it there's a no good market there's no strong market which is you know anyhow that's been it for this video an introduction to RAI and, and what RAI is in the next video we will be talking a little bit about encapsulation and I will explain to you thoroughly why we need encapsulation because a whole lot of people are just like what the hell is this guy don't worry you will get it in the next video anyhow guys if you like this video do leave a like if you have any questions do ask them in the uh, comments below I hope you enjoyed this video if you did subscribe to the channel for more thank you for watching I will see you in the next one